Hi, my art students. We are sure missing being up at school today. And since I'm videoing third grade videos right now for art class, Eli wanted to come in and say hi to his friends. Hi. <laughs> Lisa said hi. So um, I'm sure missing all of your faces in art class and our time in the art room. So he's ready to go back to Minecraft. Um, I'm missing our time in the art room, and I'm so glad that we're able to still make art together online. We have decided to put together some online art classes so that you can continue to do art from home. Uh, the PTA put together some art supply packets that were available for pickup on Monday last week, but if you weren't able to get them, don't worry about it. You can use any art supplies you have and just make art from home with crayons or markers or pencils or anything else that you have to be creative with. And the artists that I have picked are some of my very favorite current day artists. They're very active on social media and they offer classes online and many of them offer them for free. They are also very uplifting and encouraging during this time when everyone is remaining indoors and practicing social distancing. So they love to paint outdoor scenes and very use very bright, alive colors that are super vivid. And I just hope you enjoy them as much as I do. So before we begin, I want you to remember that this is a time for you to express yourself, to use your own creativity and making your art your expression of your own heart and this is always your art and it's amazing and i don't grade you so if you weren't able to pick up supplies at school really just use whatever you have that you can work with and uh, we want to give a special thank you to john at azel art supply he gave us a lot of watercolor dot cards for everybody hey no we're not doing that right now um so it's core watercolor dot cards for third through fifth grade so everybody would have those with a piece of watercolor paper and um, paintbrush and some different things so if not just use what you have they really care about our students so if you want to give them a call and try to place an order with them you can do that maybe for pickup and just kind of as a thank you because he gave us about 200 or more watercolor dot cards for free which was super sweet of him for third through fifth grade so i will move on to slides now so um can you go sit over there please okay sorry guys <laughs> okay so our artist that we're going to learn about today he is a watercolor artist and his name is Justin Donaldson. He is 29 years old and he is from Australia. And he moved to the United States eight years ago to be with his wife and they now have two children. And Justin began painting once he was out of college at the age of 21. So I just think that's really encouraging because once you see his art and you know how old that he is he's just so young and he didn't even start till after he was out of college and his work is absolutely phenomenal so he began with portraits and doing book cover illustrations and continued until he could support his family with his art and now he paints and teaches and does classes online which is what i tried to pick was current modern day artists that are a lot of fun online so he's kind of crazy um Many of his paintings, oh, next slide. Many of his paintings are of his homeland, Australia, uh, the beautiful beaches and fantastic outdoor scenes. So you can see the beautiful flowers and beach scenes right there. On our next slide, you'll see he often uses another watercolor medium called gouache. It is spelled G-O-U-A-C-H-E, but it's pronounced gouache, like squash. It is with watercolor and a chalky base to it, so it makes it more opaque, like oils and acrylics are, um, but it can still be reworked once you add water to it again. Even if it's already dried, you can use it again, just like watercolor can be. And he has superior painting skills, especially outdoor scenes with moss and foliage and leaves, and he also uses a lot of poster paint. So. He loves finding beauty and peace in nature, and he does a lot of plain air painting, which is taking your art supplies outside. So on the next slide, you can see he's outside with his palette and his paper, and the piece on the right is what he painted. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's great to 
get outside if you get to go for a walk with your family and just challenge yourself to paint what you're looking at even if it's just one leaf or a rock or anything just go ahead and paint so um, on our next slide Justin travels a lot and he spends a lot of his time outdoors just to capture these amazing scenes like the mountains of Hilton Head South Carolina or scenes of flowers in Sydney Australia which you can see there on the right on our next slide he doesn't make um, his art doesn't I don't even know why I can't talk guys this is the same as in class, right? Doesn't his art make you feel like you are right there with him in this scene? There's some young guys carrying their canoes to go out in the water. There's a beautiful mountain scene with the smoky mountain look to it. So they're absolutely beautiful and make you want to get right inside. Okay, on our next slide, he does some really incredible work for fantasy landscapes. These are often commissioned works that he, which means he's been hired to do them. And he gets paid by a purchasing customer to do something that they're requesting that he does. So he just is incredible. His talent is fascinating. So this next slide is one of my favorite pieces of kids because these kids are superheroes and you guys are right now being cooped up at home and trying to do your distance learning and have a great attitude it's it's so fun to be around kids with your vivid imaginations and i just hope you invite all of us into the fun that you can make life be and um, make this time more fun and exciting for us adults too so on the next slide this is the piece that we are going to work on ourselves this is justin's plain air painting of a beach side in australia so you can see the actual picture that he took and where he was sitting and then on the right you can see the piece that he did and we're going to use that as our inspiration okay so on our next slide your distance learning folders included some art supplies like a piece of watercolor paper and a dot card with six different colors i show it's not that one it's the one that i showed you with the core paint like this that you guys would have received and you would also have um, a little test strip what i need you to compile to be ready to go for class will be a piece of paper your pencil i need you to have your paintbrush out uh, two jars of water so you have clean water to work with and you can see if your water's getting muddy because that will mess up the look of your paint it'll get muddy on your paper we want to have a plate preferably white if you have a white plate to mix our colors because that allows us to see what colors we've mixed and what we come up with and what they truly look like paper towels are good and then another thing is like a piece of cardboard i usually just even will rip off the back of like an eight and a half by eleven notepad and use that to tape down my paper to with masking tape or painter's tape or frog tape works fine um, anything not duct tape or scotch tape they won't work but then we can peel them off later and i'll show you how to do that but so the cool part about having class this way is that you can pause the video not like in class when i'm going okay hey guys we've got 15 minutes left we've got 10 minutes left and it gets stressful and rushed to try to finish up your art you can take as long as you need to you can back up the video when you're ready and there's no rush and um, you'll feel really good about what you're painting so i cannot wait to see your masterpieces as you paint and this will be our um inspiration piece this last piece so once you um on this last slide once you have completed your beautiful masterpiece i do want you to sign it either in the bottom right or bottom left wherever you feel comfortable you've worked so hard and your signature is just the mark that you've done your very best i want you to add a lot of flourish to your name and just show that you worked really hard on this piece and then we'd like you to like this video and at the bottom we'll have links for um going to post it on the oak meadow pta page and we will have you it'll say oak meadow elementary pta either on instagram or on facebook and then you can use the hashtag saddle up mavs and hashtag rooted oak meadow so
so my hope is that doing our art together even though we can't be together in the classroom right now that we will still stay close and have fun together and encourage our community and connection with one another just like we do in class um, you know how I always tell you guys look at each other and say you did a good job and tell yourself you did a good job um, I know you do your very best and we want to continue to encourage our friends so when you post your art online all of us can be like wow great job that looks awesome and just really continue to have community with one another so um, let's go make art oh Eli wants to say goodbye I think yeah no, no, no we're no, not no. showing Minecraft yeah. right now just okay say goodbye to your friends bye bye okay we'll see you later bye guys let's go I'm make a JT art. And